hands are weird, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's very high before he came in here. I'm going to immediately impute him. Uh, hello, and welcome to the first ever College Humor Podcast. Uh, we're trying this out. We're recording this live to tape, and we're just going to give you uh, a little glimpse into some of the stuff that goes on back, uh, backstage here, behind the scenes. Um, if we make mistakes, we're not cutting them out, so you can see all the things that we do wrong. Uh, and uh, we're going to play some fun games and just just generally hang out with you a little bit. Uh, I am Mike Trapp, joining Ra us. I'm Reka Shankar. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing the energy. <laughs> I'm the Tang, <laughs> Raphael Chestang, the Tang, as you all know me. I'm Katie Marovich. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks everyone for coming in bright and early to do this, mm. especially the Tang, which we should mention that no one, no one has really ever called you that. Not, well, not I don't here, know. I just did. Okay. <laughs> um, well. Okay, we're not gonna. <laughs> I don't like that you've chosen this moment to try to get a nickname to stick. Uh, but it's manipulative. Yeah, uh, feels like we have to go along with it. It's the beginning of a new thing. It's like when you start at a new college or something. And you You're pick a new name. Yes, yeah. you pick a new name, a new personality. <laughs> I Your do. Home. I get that because I moved around a lot, and yeah. it, every time I moved, it was like, okay, chance to start over. Like, yeah, yeah. All the mistakes I learned in the previous place. Like I don't, I'm not gonna do that again. No one knows about any of my any of the skeletons of the. Yeah. Exactly. Those are just going in the incinerator. Exactly. Uh, None of these people know about the dirty booty eating. <laughs> well, now they do. Yeah. Wow, right at breakfast too, Raph. Oh, geez. Um, well, we are coming back from Thanksgiving. Uh, we had uh, people were traveling stuff. Anyone have anything anything fun or interesting happen to them? Uh, yeah. I mean, mine's not necessarily fun, but well, this part's fun. I went to New York. Mm. I love New York. It's a great city. Mike Trapp agrees. Nah, we yeah. both love New York. <laughs> it's a good place to live, and I miss it dearly. Thank you, New York. <laughs> uh, but I was on the train going to the airport, which, Raph, you do have to leave early to go to an airport, just so you know, because mm -hmm. Raph leaves like four minutes before he needs to like, <laughs> be there. I've traveled to the airport with him, and he left like three seconds before he needed to be I've never the missed a flight. Uh, ooh. <laughs> okay. So, Which airport? Which airport were you going to? JFK. Okay. I know I, it well. You've been to New York <laughs> once. Raphael went to New York once for one night and he saw someone being finger blasted at 3 a.m. Yeah. on the sidewalk. And he, he talks thinks, about New York so much yeah. for someone who has been there once. Let me tell you, best places to eat in New yeah. York. You went McDonald's outside the JFK. You truly <laughs> went to a place I told you to go to. Yeah. He I, we were supposed to go to the airport together and then I get a message from him when I'm already supposed to be meeting him that says I'm going to Manhattan which is the stupidest <laughs> sentence to say. where what <laughs> why we have to go to the airport I've anyway. never been before <laughs> <laughs> I know it is clear by saying I'm going to Manhattan <laughs> uh, anyway I was going to the airport and uh, thankfully I left early because we were on the train and uh, all of a sudden, the conductor is like announcing the next stop. It's like, oh, the next stop will be 80th Street. And then someone goes, there's a bomb on the train. And we're all like. But just someone? Someone. It sounded like the conductor. Okay, but it was on the. It, he was on the intercom. Okay, yeah. And I was sleeping. Sorry. Mm -hmm. right, yeah. <laughs> there's a couple. There was, there, was, there was something I wanted to clear before you said mm -hmm. I was sleeping. Then I got thrown <laughs> in. I was like, yeah, reeling a little bit. So you. So. Uh, the the conductor came over the intercom, yeah. said the thing, and the same voice said, "There's a it bomb." It sounded on the like the same voice to oh. me. Oh, okay. So, but you, but to be clear, you were asleep. I was asleep. <laughs> on the subway. I what? always sleep on the subway. Wow, that's nuts. No, yeah, it means I'm it's, cool and, it's, and relaxed. That's mm. wild. For mm. to, to like, mm. you were just talking about how early you need to get to the. Yes, the, you have the, to be cautious. Which like, <laughs> be safe, be cautious. Everything I know about you is like, is like, yeah, you know, be prepared. Be safe, have, be cautious. I, yeah. I, I, there was someone who who used to work at College Humor, who uh, I remember like one day he came in and and uh, he was like, oh, I had a bad night, and he had been he had been out to a party and he'd taken the train home and fallen asleep and. When he woke up, he realized someone had cut the phone out of his pants, <laughs> and he's like, uh. and "He was like, ah, it's a brand new phone." <laughs> 
and they were brand new pants. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, I would never do that. But uh, <laughs> you would never <laughs> cut the phone out of somebody's no, pants. No, I would never be that person. Oh, okay. oh, oh. Um, but you were asleep on the train. I was asleep on the train. <laughs> and nothing bad would happen to you while you're asleep on the train. Please continue your story. And nothing would happen to me. I only had my suitcase and all my belongings. Okay. So, right. anyway, I was asleep on the train, and uh, the conductor. This this happened, and everyone just kind of has that moment, and we're stopped at a, a station. So the doors are open. So th- that's, I guess, the best scenario to be in. Sure. Yeah, because you can get off. You, get you mean? Off. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get off? No. <laughs> uh, the rap the thing is, you have to get to the airport yeah. like, like I, a good hour cautious. and a half ahead of time. I am time, cautious, so. rap. But I thought this I is know why I you went early so that airport. you could get off of the bomb train and catch another rap, train. No, <laughs> there could be so many things happening at the airport that I need to prepare for. Okay. I don't have time for subway nonsense. I didn't prepare for that. Uh, so, uh, so we're all just kind of looking at each other, and um. And, and there's no extra announcement. And so we're just <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh. Did anyone get off the train? Because even I, the people that there was their stop. Because I, I, I think those people got, I got to see how this plays out. I think the people, yeah, obviously the people who stop it was. I don't, I did not see any like movement really from anybody. Right. Uh, and so, and then we're all kind of just waiting for an update. People are like, huh? What did he say? <laughs> <laughs> so there's a bomb on the train. Okay. Hmm. And uh, then he comes back and he's like, I'm pretty sure he was like, all right, the next stop is 80th Street. And we were like, wait a minute. What? <laughs> and you're still thinking it was the I'm same like, person. Yeah, I thought, I was like, did he? I'm like, maybe he's not well. And he doesn't, what just happened? Because he did not, first thing should be on the agenda to address that. Mm. Yes. The first words out of your mouth have to be to address what just happened. You can't be like, all right, I'm back to train conductor, like whatever. Uh, and then he goes- Did new people get on the train? <laughs> no, oh, okay, I don't think okay. so, at least not all in right. my car. Okay. Uh, and then he does like, he, he like says the next stop and he goes, somebody uh, came onto the intercom and said there was a bomb, uh, the, the police are coming. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, to get this person out of the train. Mm-hmm. Like S- next stop, seventy seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> please, please, just fucking relax. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So uh, that happened. Uh, the police came and they were searching for this person. I have no idea if they found them. I don't mm. know why this person would still be on. It did not even occur to me this person was still on the train. Mm. One, how do they get into the conductor booth? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Two, once you're in the conductor booth and then you make a threat like that, mm-hmm. you run. Mm-hmm. Why yes. would you still be on the train? <laughs> why wouldn't the conductor know? Who it was? Who, like, if it you're, was so you're unclear. Conductor, like someone like just pushes was, their way in. <laughs> like, this is the one on the train. You gotta go. <laughs> like, it was, like, was so excellent. unclear. And, I mean, again. It sounded like the conductor, which would be the perfect crime when you think about it. Yes, the perfect crime. The perfect crime. Fun. (laughs) Short. I wonder if... (laughs) I don't want to... I don't want to impugn the good name of this of this conductor, but yes. but I I wonder it, like if you say like it sounds like it, you know how uh, that sort of like unwanted thought syndrome kind of yes. thing where like you know how like if you're just like if oh, you're like, I totally standing on the edge of the building, yeah, 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 like, yeah. you're like oh what if I jump right. or like if you're, yeah, and you're pulling like, the fire alarm, yeah, yeah, yeah. pulling yeah. a fire alarm, like anything that's just sort of like I shouldn't how sharp that knife is. I, yeah. Shouldn't, yeah. I yeah. shouldn't slam my hand on that yeah. for sure. Yeah. Like, if this conductor every day he's been doing this job and is just like, what, if, what did I just send him to And I'll leave the doors open. Run it won't be super scary. It's the safest way possible. It's totally fine. Anyway. <laughs> and then, like, the, today was the day he's like, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do it. Gonna, yeah. And as soon as he did, it was like, that, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, was the police bad. are coming to look I for the guy. Uh, he was next uh, stop is 80th Street. <laughs> he, <laughs> he tried to describe yeah. like someone who's like, oh, just a clearly a fake person. They'll never find it. But then it's like, oh, it's New York. Like, yeah. It could be any. He had four arms. <laughs> he was eight feet tall and had a big purple hat. Yeah. He's carrying a fish. Yeah. Uh, An hour later, like, we found him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, anyway, am I not allowed to curse? I should. Whenever. Okay, cool. Anyway. Wow. Yeah, this is on hey. uh dry, this is on our platform, yeah. baby. Yeah. yeah. We run I mean, the show. Maybe we'll sense I I don't know. I don't oh, know yeah. what we're gonna do. Fuck. <laughs> See what happened to Piss. <laughs> Piss. <laughs> but. That, 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 that was what you were testing the system with? Yeah, I said but. piss before. But. 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 
All right. Well, <laughs> I don't know if this is a good test. <laughs> Great. Well, um, did you? So uh, did no no resolution. Nothing but. happened. I heard a guy on the phone. He was sitting across from me. He's like, "Man, I'm gonna be late. Someone calling a bomb threat on the train. God, so fucking annoying." <laughs> uh, it's, which is very. Yeah, it is very funny. Just, I mean, it's not funny. It's only funny because nothing happened. But it's yeah. like, mm. God, God damn, don't call it a bomb throw. I'm going to be late. I'm going to the airport. It is like, it, it's that kind of behavior that is both like why people are like, yeah, New York's great. And also why I get a little annoyed. Uh, but it, but there is that, that, uh, that thing of, uh, everyone is so just like they have so many a million things to do and everyone's yes. crammed together in the same spot that when there is something like that is just sort of like well another thing yeah, yeah. A bomb God, now. another thing happening in my day yeah <laughs> I, I I remember there was there's one time when I was in New York and I I was uh, I was coming home and a man came out of um, KFC maybe someplace and was just like you know like one of those things like oh you're having a screaming argument yeah. with someone like I can't see who the other person is you're just like coming out and, like, ah! and clearly a, a little unwell mm -hmm. um, but he concluded the argument by pulling down his pants bending over and making his butt cheeks scream at the guy mm. and <laughs> everyone else everyone like this is this was in like that it, guy wins obviously yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't there's nothing you can say to that <laughs> but it was just like everyone I was just sort of like like very stone faced just watching this man screaming at his butt cheeks and I'm just like all right, here we go. Another one of the <laughs> That's so wonderful. <laughs> but he's very clearly sweet. right. It is he true. has to be. <laughs> you don't pull that move out if you don't think That's you're right. No. Isn't Jim, Jim, Carrey, Jim Carrey do that? In, um, yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. was that right? Ace Ventura? Maybe it was Jim Carrey. Maybe I. <laughs> maybe maybe, maybe, uh, maybe yeah. I had my first celebrity sighting there. Aww. That was years ago. It's, it's the butt from Ace Ventura. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> um, well, great. Great. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Uh. I hope it was a happy Thanksgiving other than that. Yeah, it was great. Um, I, this was actually, I think my first, this might have been my first Thanksgiving, I think. Mm -hmm. What? I've, you know, I've never celebrated <laughs> But like celebrating, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you celebrate it with your family? No, they don't celebrate it. That's why I've never okay. celebrated. This is my first time not being at my house oh, on Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. So you did a friend's Yes, giving? I went to New York for friend. I had two Friendsgivings. That's, That's great. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like, uh, uh, I always kind of liked Thanksgiving because it it is so uh, irreligious, a religious mm -hmm. that that it d did feel like the, like it's like oh this is tr truly like a, a national holiday. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like yeah the, we're just all gonna we're all just mm -hmm. gonna do this. We're gonna take some time mm -hmm. off and we're just gonna do this. But I guess not. Yeah, well half my family is vegetarian. I mean ha most of them are. My dad isn't, and then my brother isn't. So like turkey, whatever. Most Nobody most of Thanksgiving foods are vegetarian. Yeah, no one was gonna cook that shit in my house. Like <laughs> okay, like, uh, yeah, can you shut the fuck up? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but did you did you I'm not sorry. do like people still have time off work and school presumably? Yes. Did you not do any anything or like even just like, sit time, down and have like a like it's like oh I'll have a big meal. We don't have to do Thanksgiving food, but we can we can just pig out like everyone else in the country is right mm -hmm. now. Truly no. Okay. One time my dad booked a mileage run on Thanksgiving Day. Do you know mileage runs? No. no. That's where you book a flight that stops at like 700 stops just to accumulate miles and you come back like the same day or the next day. Why would we know what that is? We're not dads. Do you dads. think we're dads? We're yeah. not dads. <laughs> we did that on Thanksgiving. That's the clearest like, paternity test. Yeah. Suddenly you're like, oh no, I gotta talk to you. Wow, your dad knows how to party. <laughs> <laughs> he went to Munich. Whoa, on this mileage run? <laughs> yeah. Wow, okay, I stay corrected. As a result of the miles or as part of accumulating miles? Part of the miles. All right. Mm. Okay. Truly wild. But, but he was only there for... <laughs> a day. <laughs> on Thanksgiving. <laughs> Wowza. Well, uh, well, we're going to move into our next segment here. This is uh, a segment that we call Rejected Sketch Theater. Um, we write um, a lot of sketches here. Uh, not all of them. Uh, uh, so not all of them make it past the pitch stage. Not all of them make it past the script stage. Um, and this is, in fact, a sketch that um, our very own Katie Maravich wrote. Uh, 
uh, last year, maybe? Or last, last, last year. year? Yes, I wrote this, this last year. This reeks of 2017. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Every hey, reference in uh, it is a, <laughs> It is a Thanksgiving <laughs> sketch, uh, uh, so it is appropriate now, um, but uh, but we did not ever actually make this. And were, were you both here the, when, when yes. this? Yes. Mm-hmm. I guess so. Yeah. I do remember Perhaps this. in the sketch. Because yeah, I, mean, I, I am in the sketch. remember when we were giving you notes, I think, Katie, you thought that we were saying that it was like, well, to, yeah. Hold on. Do we know? We don't. We haven't first. introduced the Sorry. sketch at all. Yeah. There's going to be sexy? no context here. Yeah. It's too sexy. Uh, <laughs> Shut up. So. This is my thing to talk about. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay. This okay. isn't your story to tell. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, Katie, would you like to tell <laughs> us the title of this sketch? <laughs> um, yes. And then, uh, and then tell us who we'll be reading for. And yes. And then, um, and then we'll talk about it when when we're done. That sounds lovely. Great. Um, hello, my name is Katie Maravich. <laughs> I didn't need to say that. <laughs> anyway, um, the the sketch is entitled "This Turkey is a Total Tilt." So, mm-hmm. Turkey, I'd like to fuck. <laughs> um, and the, I will play Katie. I'm glad we sorted out the censoring thing <laughs> <laughs> while we're yes! in the middle of this. <laughs> um, trap, please be trap. Yes. Um, Rekha, can you be Ali? Mm-hmm. And Raphael, be yourself. And yes. then I'll also do stage. Okay. <clears throat> Interior dining room. Katie, Trap, Allie, and Raphael munch on light appetizers and drink cider. Katie clears her throat. <clears throat> I just wanted to thank all of you for coming to my Thanksgiving dinner. It really means a lot that you chose me over your families. Oh, of course. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. A timer goes off. It's turkey time! Yeah! Everyone shares. Woo! Katie goes to the kitchen and comes back carrying a large roasting pan. She sets it down and lifts the lid. A perfectly roasted, glistening turkey rests inside. It's lying on its side with one wing up, posing suggestively. Whoa, baby. (laughs) Extremely seductive music begins to play. We pan over to the the turkey in slow motion. There's soft lighting. It's truly a very sexy turkey. What a till. Everyone stares at the turkey like they want to fuck it. <laughs> Katie bites her lips. Trap's eyes roll back in ecstasy. Ellie loses control and moves to touch it. Raphael stops her. Wait. Let's get a little more comfortable first. Oh. <laughs> Close up. Raphael lighting some moody candles around the turkey. We pull back to reveal that everyone now wears sexy silk robes. The turkey has a sheer chemise on. That's more like it. Allie and Katie begin taking out the stuffing with their hands. Let me help you. Trap unties the turkey's legs from each other and reties them to the sides of the pan. <laughs> so its legs are spread akimbo. <laughs> Much better. Allie and Katie basically start fingering the turkey in slow motion to get the stuffing out. It's time. I'll be gentle. Turkey takes out of... Uh, oh, he's Katie, not a turkey. <laughs> Katie takes out of turkey. If you were premium subscribers, you'd be able to watch Katie and Rega demonstrate what fingering a turkey looks like. For, if you're just listening, you, you don't get yeah, that Yeah, you're missing thing. this. All right. Um, anyway, Katie takes out a vibrating carving knife. She starts carving the turkey in slow motion. Juice pours out of it. Mm. Everyone licks their lips, lips and breathes heavily. May I? He takes a small taste of meat. Oh, baby. She's perfect. Let's eat. They all sit down and load turkey onto their plates. They ignore the rest of the spread on the table. It becomes a montage of turkey softcore porn sexiness. Trap sniffing the turkey as though it were panties. Allie, in act this out. Allie <laughs> putting melted butter on her hands and massaging a large piece of breast meat. Raphael lying seductively on a couch next to a piece of turkey. They are surrounded by roses. Katie rubbing a turkey leg all over her face while her eyes flutter. Suddenly, there's a knock at the door. Trap be Grant. <laughs> knock, knock. Hope I didn't miss anything. This is Grant. This trap is Grant and Trap. Um, Grant opens the door and enters. He carries a pie and wears his Sunday best. He looks around shocked and disgusted by what he sees. I can't believe this. I would never do anything like this. You're all a bunch of turkey perverts. The end. (laughs) (laughs) So. (laughs) Fiend. The perfect sketch. So Sexy, hot, about food. Mm. So, Katie, do you, uh, I guess, do you have any... Uh, w- w- is there anything you'd like to say, I guess, about w- why you think that b- perhaps this sketch didn't get made? Well, I know 
this was actually the final version in the in the read through version. I had everyone orgasming a lot. <laughs> oh right, yes, and, yes, um, yes. And everyone was telling me how uncomfortable that was. <laughs> well, but That's, you had orga- we you had actors, <laughs> but you had us covered in it though. Yeah. Not only were we orgasming, you had yes. us covered in our we orgasm. We were all creaming. You essentially left and right. <laughs> You essentially wrote <laughs> like like yeah. softcore pornography yes. for your coworkers. Yes, <laughs> I did, and, and it wasn't. I I just somehow I felt like the wrong message was taken from what the notes were. It wasn't that it was because we get the sketch is supposed to be sexy. I think just it's about a turkey that's sexy. Uh-huh. So yes. how would you write that sketch? <laughs> no, no, I know, I know, and I think I think the orgasm. He, I remember too. I feel like the orgasming part was something that you said you were like I, when I wrote this I didn't realize I had to do it exactly in the room, right? Mm-hmm. That I do is remember accurate. that. Yeah. <laughs> but and, and I do the, that to myself a lot. There are many sketches that I write where I'm like, oh no, it got greenlit. Now yeah. I have to do that. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. The yeah. first sketch I think you had to do was oh, yes. was the the one where it's like uh, uh, the basketball one. Um, the uh, uh, oh, I'm out of shape. Uh, yeah, yes. trying to trying to hide you're out of shape, and that required you to get sprayed in the face so you could look sweaty. <laughs> and I've I I've never seen anything like it before <laughs> where you're getting sprayed in the face and getting your your bangs wiped down for continuity. It's like oh, this is how it was in the previous shot, and you the <laughs> they would wipe it down and you would brush it away, and then they would wipe your bangs back down <laughs> and you would brush it away, and you <laughs> and then you started telling them to stop and it's like they like we have to do this yeah i was very inappropriate on this i was i well I, we didn't realize it but i had a phobia about being sprayed in the face with water it was like when you discipline a dog with yes. it's like you were just it like, was i had the craziest reaction to that and i didn't foresee that when i wrote this sketch but it was truly insane i hope to god that the rock has the same thing whenever i watch whenever i see whenever let me explain whenever i see the fast and furious movies you know how he's glistening all the time Mm -hmm. there's somebody whose job it is between takes yeah 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 so (laughs) and then he's like he's drying it it off and they're like stop it (laughs) he's yelling at them to stop (laughs) the rock glistener comes home from work just exhausted <laughs> like, How was word today? He's like, ah, another. Yeah, okay. Dwayne the didn't want it again. <laughs> yeah, this is my day hustle. It's not my passion. <laughs> One day you'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, we're getting a little off track. Uh, but that's okay. <laughs> well, but to, but to extrapolate on that for this, because the original version did have people orgasming. Like, yes. Yeah. And like mm-hmm. and with excre- like excretions. Yeah. Oh yeah, we, we were, were all covered creaming. in it. We were covered in cum. Yeah. So that, <laughs> I guess it just it's sort of like it just yeah, like so that would be something on set, right? That might be Yeah, I can I see also... now that that would make me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hindsight's 2020. <laughs> I think there's also an element here too cuz like we do we establish the premise up top. Or like like that's a turkey like to fuck, but we never we never again after that like acknowledge really in any way that this is sort of unusual. unusual. Nor do we have really many lines. So it's like no, we have we that first thing of like, lines. like We're moaning. Th- well, there's, a lot, there's there's some like may I and like ooh babies in there. Yes. So it is like there's like the very and like if you're reading through if you're reading the descriptions like oh yeah like I can see the jokes here but then if you try to imagine like what that actually looks like cut together <laughs> then you have a thing where it's like wow it's a good looking turkey and then it's three minutes of all this essentially moaning and yeah. like fucking a turkey. Yeah. 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 No, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we can do it live. I don't know. Yeah, like, we'll do it live. We'll do the, you're right. We'll just orgasm live. Yeah. yeah. We'll, just, we'll just cream live. Yeah, that's good. All together. Yeah. Great. I also love that the that the final like the final beat like the the final joke uh, relies just on it's like okay for this joke to work he's like you have to know Grant's a total fucking pervert, pervert. <laughs> and, and like this is really funny because like Grant would be the only one who wouldn't fuck a turkey yeah <laughs> yeah so you definitely have to know that specific about Grant he's and like that turkeys are hot. <laughs> <laughs> he, that guy has fucked everything yeah. on yeah. set it's true yeah yeah um well is there anything is this still a sketch you would want to get made. No. <laughs> uh, no, I think I've evolved as a writer mm. since then. Um, yeah. I've 
yeah, this was this is in my past. This is preschool. Yeah. This is preschool shit. Mm. Yeah. You know, I'm a, I'm in college now, baby. Yeah. Preschoolers <laughs> always write about coming. <laughs> well, you know, if you don't hate the stuff that you wrote a year ago, that just means you're not improving, That's right? right? Exactly. You should always hate what you did one year ago. <laughs> you should always hate yourself from one year as ago. A, as a professional comedy writer, mm. that's how it should work. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's, that's advice you can take home to the bank. <laughs> mm. that's that's yeah. You're home. You're home. Mm-hmm. You're home, You're bank. home, home bank. bank. Look, Hopefully, we all yeah, bank rich. from home now. So <laughs> we all just send in. Well, um, anyone else have any other any other uh, final thoughts about, um, about this turkey is a total tilf? Hmm. I, I mean, I'm I'm truly just flabbergasted. Uh, <laughs> Why? I t- I totally forgot about it, and then well, because you did like a really s- sexy thing. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. You sound, I, Katie Merriman, right. the very sexy. Yeah, thing. the sexiest <laughs> cast member did something sexy. Big deal. <laughs> <laughs> you're all, you're constantly talking about you don't know what. Sex is, or what is sexy? <laughs> Whoa, sounds like Raph's projecting onto Katie. <laughs> okay, because I have never. Yeah. Wow. That's on you, mm. Raph. What? I can't it's believe it. Wow, Raph. Wow. What? No, no. How no. embarrassing. <laughs> Jeez, to Raph. admit something like that. <laughs> oh my god, you don't know what sex is. It's gonna be the rank room all I, over again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This sketch made Raph uncomfortable. Rap yeah, is no, projecting. It yeah, he's no, projecting definitely. his sex negativity. How are you? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, mm. Raph didn't know on. that turkeys could feel pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we'll end this segment. <laughs> um, well, speaking of Raph, how's, how's that for a segue? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Raph, you had you had um, months ago pitched out um, an idea for for doing a game. Um, and we didn't really have a good place for it uh, mm. until now. So we, we figured we'd try it out now. You want to sort of intro this idea and, and try this out for us? Yes. Once again, the tang here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, I'm we... sorry. I apologize. So this, this, this is like game... when a teenager is like, call me Misty Doona. Yeah. <laughs> call me A-Town. <laughs> this, this game is called Slang Tang. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no. so these are <laughs> these are these are turn. Oh no, Katie can see. I can also see it. Uh-oh. Everyone can see oh, it. No. All right, <laughs> these are terms from uh from uh these are slang terms, and then yeah. you're gonna tell me the def what you think the definition is. I think we can say we can say that it's from Urban Dictionary. Oh, we can. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. then that's what it so is. These are all pulled from, from UrbanDictionary.com. Yeah. So you'll say the word, we'll say the definition? Yeah. What we think the definition is. Yeah. Ghost cheeks. Ghost cheeks? Oh, no! Um, are those, like, super pale butt cheeks? <laughs> like, they've been in too tight of underpants or something, and they... What they is lost this? Circulation. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they're like. Oh, you're saying blue. like it's cut off. It's cut off circulation to your butt, so it's like extra pale. Is that what you're you're proposing? Ghost cheeks are. I think. Why it's... would you think they'd have a term for that? This happens <laughs> they so have much. A term for everything. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Here's what I think it is. Ghosting. Ghosting is a term that we all hear about all the time. Mm-hmm. Right. What if it's. Two lovers, one is ignoring the butt. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're ghosting on the cheeks. Ghost cheeks. On the butt, yes. Ghost cheeks. You said you were going to hang out, and then you didn't ever Just, reply. I'm never going to touch you that said, butt You said, yeah, again. I'll touch that butt in five minutes. And five minutes rolls around. That butt. You never touch that butt. Yeah. I'll say this. Hold Katie on. is extremely close. Oh, no. wow. <laughs> All right. I was going to guess that the, this is something to do with, like, um, uh, I feel like a lot of urban dictionary terms are very sexual or yes. or body judgmental. Yeah. Uh, I, I, so I feel like this is maybe something like uh, if you see someone that looks like they have a booty, uh-huh. uh, um, but then um, then later you, you oh. get home, the pants come off, and they, they, it's like, oh, where did the, no where did the booty Phantom go? Where did the booty go? Yeah, where did the booty go? As Raph might say. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so that's my guess. that's my guess. <laughs> okay, Rab, these are all excellent guesses. Thank you. This, <laughs> Wait, this did is, any of us get it right? Yes. No. Okay. But this, it's uh, where you sit on a toilet seat and you can still feel the warmth where the previous occupant mm. was sitting. What? Ghost booty. Go, what is it? Ghost cheeks. <laughs> Ghost cheeks. Wait, why did you say I was the closest? Yeah, yeah it's nothing, <laughs> nothing to do, nothing with, to do it. with that. Honestly, well, mine's closer. Well, yeah. they left. The booty left. 
Mm. Oh, Where's so the money go? It. Yeah, exactly. Where did the money go? <laughs> <laughs> so no points for that one is what I'm hearing. I guess no points. <laughs> oh yeah, Judge I guess Rap. we need. Yeah, we need Hard a line with, with Judge Rap. Rap. <laughs> Do we get points for this show? I think. I mean, I think Raf can assign points if yeah. we get close or get. I feel like yeah. none or of us are going to get anything. Tickle him. Oh sure. Ooh. Look, Raph is, it's, 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 it's the Tang, show. hey, it's, it's the Tang's show. world, yeah. we're just living in it. <laughs> we're just Tang in it. <laughs> okay, this is, uh, how long is this supposed to be? 25 um, we Do a couple, we, we, we can do like, like 10, 15 minutes or so, um, but we, we've got time, feel free to go until it feels like, yeah. Until okay. this is boring. Until, until we're bored of it. <laughs> okay, this one I'll say, it's, uh, otter popping. Otter, otter, pop. otter, one word. Otter, otter pop. popping. Pop I'll okay. spell it for you. O T T E R P O P P I N apostrophe. Okay. Otter, otter popping. popping. Here's right. what I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know how. I don't really know much about how babies come out. Okay. <laughs> this is a. This is this is quite the intro. Okay. Please continue. <laughs> but I imagine occasionally. The baby will. This is when the baby's getting born. Sure. I imagine that sometimes the baby's head will come out and then pop back in. <laughs> what? Whoa! <laughs> like it's having like an sex? otter pop. No. Okay. Here's. Ew! That's what you're describing. No. The baby's head will come out of the mom. It's getting born, and then it has to go back in. <laughs> it it so forgot something. I feel something. like the baby goes. <laughs> it's just. I don't know. Okay. That's why I Here, said I don't thing. know how babies work. Here's, here's the thing. I I <laughs> yes. think that you're on the right track with the most because I think that like yeah. like an otter pop it was just like the you know like the the pop skull in the plastic sleeve where you sort of mm-hmm. like slide it out to take a bite. And I think that you're right with the motion of being like something sliding in and out. Mm. But I don't think I it's think, a baby. I think it's mm. a penis. Ew. Mm. I think <laughs> I think I it's think a baby. It has to do with the penis. Mm-hmm. With like mm-hmm. foreskin. Or are you talking about a penis like... Rekha's very close. Rekha is correct. Hey, what? I she, guess. She, I'm assuming. It's like a penis. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, everyone shut up. I'm right. No, I, not... I, I think it's, it, is, it is penis and foreskin related is what I'm going to say. The Actually, I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> I yes, think, it, no, I think no. it has to do with the penis. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> My second guess... As Raph famously knows nothing about sex. So. <laughs> My second guess will be related to Katie's. It is when twins come out and they're holding hands like otters. Oh. oh. Like okay, that's the new on one. Chest. And they yeah, crack little clams up. <laughs> that's in Torum. Trap, what's your guess? I, uh, or the penis the, thing. The, the penis thing. Oh, the foreskin. Yeah. Right, you did say that. What is it? It says squeezing the last few drops of pee out with your hand. <laughs> Hmm. I am so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Does that work? I don't think so. It's like milk. I think a if cow. you if yeah. you have to if you have to otter pop, you maybe need to see a doctor. Yeah. You certainly it's need sure. to hydrate more. I saw that on a TV <laughs> show, yeah. 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 Hmm. yeah. But if you just, oh man. We have those apple juice things. Oh no, I don't like that. Apple sauce. <laughs> oh the the squeezy yeah, applesauce. Yeah, the squeezy yeah. applesauce. Yeah, it's like That's your otter pop in that applesauce right into your oh, mouth. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Do we want to do one more? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Let's do. Let's do. Let's do one or two more if we've got if we got good ones here. All right. This is called. Wait, you pro- you guys probably know what this one is. No, no. Well, you're <laughs> you're severely overestimating how cool uh, at least the well, three of us. You're not cool enough to otter pop for sure. This is- yeah, all the cool kids are fucking squeezing their dicks to the last yeah. drops of piss come out. I could never yeah. piss. This is the censored, right? <laughs> this is called a glass bottom boat. A glass bottom boat. Okay. Mm. All right. Those are fun. I have a, a Catalina. I went on one. This is. <laughs> I think it might be a little sexier. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna bank that away for when we find out what a glass. <laughs> is. Uh, uh, okay. I This feels like uh, like one of those like um, stupid like sex moves to me. Like one of those like things that like mm. no one actually really does. Uh, uh, but it's just like an invented like crazy sex move. Trap is right. Uh, and I yes! and I think. I'm pretty sure this is okay. Glass bottom boat. So that's gonna be when you're looking down below and you're seeing something. Ass. Um, could be ass. <laughs> so what is the glass in the and glass? What is I wonder to the shower. A shower? You know, people's shower sex. Right. 
I think it's got to be. It's gonna be something crazier than yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think a it's panel, gonna be a, a window. I think it's yeah. I think sex it's gonna. Through a window. I think it's gonna be like sex through like a sunroof or something yeah. like oh! that. Oh wow, this is very close. Wow, wow, you guys wow. Are very Who's close. on top? Who's on top? <laughs> this is wait, wait. What are you wait? What are you asking? Who? Who? Who is it? Uh, Where'd the booty go? Who's <laughs> I, yeah, I get what are you saying? Like, if like cowgirl through yeah. through the sunroof? Is that? Oh. I don't know. Because but then, then where, the, how are the you? The man has a bed. Yeah, yeah. the man has been. You know, <laughs> you know, car seats famously rise all the way up to, to, to the sunroof. Yes. Okay. Man, I'm learning a lot today. Um, what is yeah, it? I'm. What if? Yeah. What is the word again? Sorry. Glass, glass bottom, bottom boat. Glass bottom glass boat. Glass bottom boat. It's going to be a It's three words. Thing. Glass bottom boat. Glass bottom boat. Maybe, well, we kind of know. It's something with sex. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, locking, I'm locking in sex through a sunroof. Could it be you eating someone's ass while you're wearing glasses? <laughs> I guess it could be. I guess it could be. <laughs> Just pressed up against the glasses. It's fogged all the hell. Ass cheeks printed on the, your glasses for like the next week. You can't rub it off. <laughs> Why would you keep the glasses? On? I gotta see. I gotta see what I'm doing. Be precise. You don't want a sloppy, sloppy, sloppy ass play. Katie, do you have a guess for glass bottom boat? Well, I was guessing. I was thinking. <laughs> Thinking about it, maybe it's like sex very publicly in like a uh, like an anthropology store display. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like the front cute! Table, front yeah. Very cute, right? Yeah. Oh, in front of oh. you're like a bohemian dress. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, what and there could it? be a boat in the display. What oh. is it? It's when a person shits on top of a glass table while someone underneath the table watches and masturbates through it. There was a, a spot of dead air as we all like took that in. Just like, like sorry, sorry Ew. for our listeners at home. We were all just sort of sitting here going, like, oh, all right. I, it, I thought I got it, and then you kept going with the description. Because for a second, I was like, there's nothing sexual about that. And then you were like, masturbates. Like, all right, fine. For the person who definitely wants to see someone shit, it's like, oh, I don't want it on me. That's, yeah. that's gross. I, I do need you to shit above me. I went to the zoo, and they had this great prairie dog exhibit yeah. it was like you're like in the prairie dog tunnels i want that but for shit oh my god <laughs> all right um we want to give okay. us one more sure uh let's see here let's do oh do you remember when i said i did that in catalina yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yes! yeah. Ooh, katie gets crazy, crazy. And raf said you knew nothing about sex <laughs> <laughs> yeah i was absolutely wrong uh okay we'll do this is uh, we'll say, uh, clam. Oh, you guys know what this is. Clam jam. Ew. Is that like, well, not ew. I mean, is it, but is it, is, is, it, it, a, is it vaginal excrement? Well, I'll say I've heard clam ejaculate? jam used. I thought but it I, would be a tampon. I've, I've heard Two it, words. I've heard it. Clam jam. I've Two heard tampons. it used, but I, I've heard it probably in a much more innocent context than this, which is just, it's the female version of a sausage fist or a sausage one. Oh. So it's like when it's like, oh. close. When it's like, oh, there's a, just oh like, too many women. Uh, I mean, too many sounds like a judgment, but if it's just like, it's, it like, it's like, oh, it's just like, oh, it's like, this is, this is the, like, this is the party here. It's just, it is, it is oh, a bunch I of see. women. Oh, I see, because sausage fest is a judgment. I guess it is. Well, I yeah. guess, yeah, I guess there is a judgmental element to it, but hmm. it's like, all right, this is, but I, I feel like I've heard it in a sort what of like, like claiming it for ourselves kind oh, of way, you know. Like, it's, so like, it's, it's, nice. like, it's like we got a total clam yeah. jam going here. Right. Uh, just I've heard taco of, party. Yeah, I guess it's Yes, kind of I've heard taco party. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Before you speak. Before you speak. Oh my god. My Ew. god. You're disgusting. <laughs> All right, I mean, Rob, I what is? Like, I feel like that you're just good. thinking about tacos. <laughs> I know he, he, is, he, was. he is. Of course but he is. Only we thinking were just of tacos. talking about like a room full of women. Yes. That sounds good. <laughs> Ooh, damn. The tang's got to lick his lips. <laughs> this is for context. <laughs> Look at him. He's thinking about a taco party and how beautiful it sounds. <laughs> 
This is the same room that we did Big Daddy Rafi. <laughs> All right. Damn. Anyway, wipe your well, tears. What, what was, what the, what was the answer? <laughs> this is it's basically the fe- okay. So this is the female equivalent to a cock block. Oh, <gasps> so maybe too many. Yes. Oh, like maybe a traffic jam. Be, yes. A traffic jam. Yeah. Like, okay. Got cock it. Clam, okay. Jam. Okay. Jam. Jam. clam jam. Clam oh, jam. You oh clam my god! I have said- been clam jammed. Oh. What? When, when like, is because this just means like one of your friends is like getting in the way of you trying to talk to somebody, right? Right. Yes. Yeah. It's a, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, I once. Never mind. You can't. No, no, you have no, to tell no, it. I, you have I, to tell it. My friend. I lived with a woman, and I was having a play rehearsal of this very dumb play, and I was like singing, and she came out, and she was like, "You're really ruining this." <laughs> We can hear you just like singing and dancing. <laughs> you clam jam, so I was like big time clam jam. <laughs> Damn, that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> well, that seems like a good a time as any to move on to our next segment, uh, which is uh, questions from the audience. And it seems all my questions have scattered on the floor. Yay! Uh, so I'm gonna take a moment here. No, you didn't do anything. I'm gonna take one here to, to reach down and pick up <laughs> no, all the it. things. Yeah, for those listening, I did Trap it. really no, struggled I there. Really, no, I really, I did a lot did of work it. here. just sat Listen, there. What's uh, subscribe to Dropout and find the truth. The amount of work that I did <laughs> no. to do This happens this. all the time. Um, so here are a couple questions from our audience. I think these all came from uh, our Dropout Discord. It's just where our, uh, we are uh, dropout subscribers can just chat with each other, chat with us. We hang out there sometimes, and and sort of if you have questions for us, if you just want to pick our brains, uh, it's a good place for it. And we're gonna pick some of those out here and talk about them right now. Um, so, uh, question from uh, Texonitis, probably mispronouncing that, but how much like the character? Uh, the Texonitis was wondering how much like the character you generally play are. You. Let me read that again. How much like the character you generally play are you? That uh, is, yeah, like how the char- similar the character you, you play on the screen. How are you? Yeah. How much similar like you are? I feel like we'd be better at answering for other people. Maybe mm-hmm. that's true because you only know. But I also the, they were a little bit more here, but it's kind of just elaborating. It's like I always wonder how much the cast is acting and how much you're all just interacting like normal when mm. you're in sketches. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. a good question. I yeah. will say that when I first I didn't know Katie before uh, working here. Mm-hmm. And when I first met Katie, my first thought was, wow, she <laughs> is she incredible. Is. <laughs> what a well, star. And, well, I mean, like the thing of like, they just turn the camera on and that's just her. Like you just, <laughs> you just are, you are, mm-hmm. you are probably, I would say that you are the closest to, you, I mean, but Grant, I will say Katie has, Katie's like two modes, right? Katie has yes. like quiet mode and beast mode. Sure, yeah. You know, like, yes. uh, and and the, both of those come through in your sketches sometimes, right? Like, because there's <laughs> there's sort of like anxious Katie, but then there's also like, we're fucking doing it. Yeah. 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 And like there's a birthday those, girl in the house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I did yeah. that to you. Like yeah. 400 times on my birthday. <laughs> oh my God. I think in the videos, they're like, they're both, cr- they're both more extreme versions. Right, yeah, right, they are yeah, both yeah. Really like versions mm-hmm. of that. Yeah, uh, I feel like um, uh, uh, I feel like when I became a uh, head writer, I think this was largely your doing, but I think I got written into a lot more parts where I was like the like dour parent yes. of, yeah. of, yes. of authority. I think a lot of those are coming from your sketches or something. It was like I'm the boss and I'm telling you what. To do. And that <laughs> is like trap. That always is like bad. <laughs> I feel like that, but it's always like you you're losing control and right. no yeah. backbone. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's always that you're very weak and yes. um yeah. Your last so, time is no, getting I thrown all over. I would say you're like that <laughs> in real life. Yes. Right. I think you're very normal. Yes. And you. And you don't act like a boss at all. That's true. I'm a very bad respect. boss. Yeah. yeah, there's no respect. We respect you. You're I a boss shirk at all. Author- I shirk responsibilities all the time. <laughs> Sam's furious at me and never doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh. I'm supposed to be in a meeting right now, and I'm just here. <laughs> Raphael, I will say much weirder in real life than in the sketches, I think. Oh, but, wow. Well, I'm, I'm different types of weird. I think in yes. the sketches you have like invented quirks of like, I don't know. Yeah, because you you've had me as Raph, the wait has that oh okay. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> no, like you have different inventions, but like in real life, 
You are very bizarre. Yes. <laughs> I don't think Raph is as strange person. as you two. Raph, he's you, wild. Yesterday, <laughs> you, you told me like three stories where I could not follow a single goddamn thing you were saying. Do you remember this? No. I don't know what the hell. You what were was I saying? At the premiere party. Right, then. right, right. I don't know. <laughs> the connective threads between the things you were talking about made no sense. Here's the thing. I think so. I think I think Raph is a, like you're kind of a quiet person. Yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. Uh, which means yes. that when you do speak, yes. it feels like everything is laden with meaning. Yes. So. <laughs> but like the, thing, like the time we were talking about uh, in in, in uh, a show we we're filming, uh -huh. the uh, uh, fuck, what was it? The alibi thing. Oh right. Um, uh, oh yeah, uh, that was total. Wait, can we say that? We, we've mentioned the existence of total. Forgiveness. Okay, there's okay, a show called yeah, Total Forgiveness. Total you don't forgiveness. know anything about it, but someone, uh, Allie, had a diary that they kept. Yes. Yeah, and, and you I, said it would be. We were all talking like, "What's the purpose of a diary?" And right. you hadn't said anything for a while. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then you're like, "Oh, it's a perfect alibi." <laughs> what? <laughs> The the purpose, if you want to talk about uh, purpose, <laughs> is that what we're talking about? Purpose. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Shut want, up. If you want to talk Explain about what a designated survivor. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> if you want to talk about the practical purpose of it, what else could be more practical than an alibi? You need receipts. I mean, I'm not diligent enough to keep a, a diary. You're gonna get caught. You gotta get receipts. No, I'm not getting caught. You said receipts twice. Is that the thing people put in their diaries? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you stuff it in the, as like a bookmark. No, you, you know? write like your feelings and stuff in diaries. Oh, diaries. oh. nah, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You're picturing like a you ledger don't remember or your something. Feelings? I remember my feelings. I have like three of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're horrible. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get this away. Feeling, my, you're in my suck. airspace. Yeah, you're my. Get out of here. What about uh, what about you, Rick? Do you feel like you're? Uh, I feel like your personality comes through in the chuffa for sure. That ch yes. if you're, if you're not yeah. chuffa is the like the, mm -mm. the nonsense at the top of the sketch that doesn't really have anything to do with it. I feel like mm -mm. Rake is constantly just putting either real opinions or just like it's like I want donuts on this sketch. Mm. This, this whole sketch will be set during a donut party. Yeah, I feel like you're you play characters. Like other characters, not really yourself a lot. Yeah, I don't know. Unless you have a, unless there's just like, I have this opinion and I want to get this out. Yes, I do. I don't know what I, should I work on this? I, what should I do? <laughs> should, <laughs> how should I be doing this more or how less? How should I be? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what I do. I think if you don't do something, after a while, people just assign you things. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, you know, like Katie's whole cocaine thing started with just a passing joke in a mm -hmm. sketch that she was in for about yes. two lines yes. uh, and now it has become a huge yeah. thing right mm -hmm. and <clears throat> the biggest thing ever yeah and the ref's booty obsession came oh, yeah. from a single it, line oh, in yeah, that was just blunts. one line yeah. and and then uh the dirty booty thing came from because you had never eaten a donut or something when we were doing uh the don't date my crappy friend because you this were is why i need a diary for receipts <laughs> <laughs> and and there was a chocolate frosted donut and we made the joke. It looks like a booty hole. We're like, oh, this is a dirty booty hole. Oh, Raph loves this. Raph will, Raph will eat this kind of donut. Yeah, it yeah. looks like a dirty then, booty. Yeah, you were like, I bet if it had shit in there, you'd love it. <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> no one know. stopped this from happening. <laughs> this, is, this is just bullying. <laughs> and now we continue to bully you. Forever. But it's given you something fun. Yeah. And I, th I think you have fans from it. So I think you're welcome. <laughs> I, you're welcome. <laughs> well, here is uh, a sketch that's kind of for Raf, or a question rather, uh, about a Raf sketch. Some of you worked with celebrity co-stars from time to time. For example, Raf did the Jurassic World sketch mm -hmm. with Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard, mm -hmm. which was, let's be honest, brilliant. Uh, Raf wrote that sketch. Oh, See, that's I told nice. you it got you fans. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Have you gotten to work with any of your comedic heroes or cool celebs? And if not, is there anyone we would uh, we would know who you wish you could work with? 
You are all my comedic heroes. Aww. Rega has real fans. Like, people, you're a comedy hero to many other uh, improv and sketch comedians in Los Angeles at UCB specifically. Can we mention UCB? Sure. Unless I say that it sucks. Brad told me that a bunch of people were complimenting me once and he refused to tell me who it was. Everybody. It was everybody. You name somebody. (laughs) Name a person. Mark. (laughs) <laughs> Camel, Mark Camel. No, it wasn't that. No, no, neither of those guys. <laughs> Dave, God, I wish. <laughs> Santana. Yeah, Mark Santana. If, if you I wish I knew somebody. That if, 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 if it was like, oh yeah, there, there are a bunch of people, a bunch of people complimenting you, Reka, and you didn't mention that one of them was Santana. We just had to ask about it. That would be, that would be horrible. That would be so I would, bad. I would have to like redact my. I would be like, no, Raph, you're pretty weird. <laughs> I was hanging out with Santana <laughs> talking about improv. Um, yeah, is there are, are, is there a celebrity that that you worked with that you were like, whoa, very cool, or someone that you were like, oh, I'd love to do a video with X Y Z. I thought it was great. Your Bass and Music one. Mm-hmm. Oh, I yeah. thought that was great. Mm. <clears throat> that was a big deal. Thanks again for casting me. No, honestly, because I I, I really was I I was glad to be able to do the, that. The tricky thing is like all the people I think of who I like look up to and are like it's like oh wow like comedy heroes. I don't think I'd ever want to be in a sketch with them. Yes, the whole time I, I'd be like I have to hold I have to impress them. I have to hold mm-hmm. my own against them. Mm-hmm. I have to like like it would be, like as cool as it would be to be like oh like. I did a sketch with some of the Pythons or with Conan O'Brien yeah. or or like the Flight of the Concords guys or anything like that. It would be like, it's like I don't, I'd be just the whole time I'd be like. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. that's definitely true. Yeah. It was cool doing the AP bio thing uh, with like Glenn Howerton and Patton Oswalt and all those people because mm. they're very nice. They're just very nice. Yeah. And they're nice. But we'd never tell you if they weren't. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I would lie. Um, <laughs> all right, any other final thoughts on that one? No. Very good. Um, next. Next. <laughs> uh, here's a very you, simple next. one. What's your favorite sketch that you have written? And that, <laughs> very simple. Ever than si- <laughs> dead silence. For uh, me, it was the um, last meal. I like doing mm. big characters, and I feel like I d- you don't always get a chance to because that's not really like college humor's kind of like format or whatever. Mm. Um, but the, the, it was the one where I was in jail and I couldn't decide what my last meal would be. Um, and I just had, I had so much fun on set cause I could really just be as like crazy as I want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I really, uh, I think the NRA sketch, I was glad mm. that first of all, I was able to do it, <laughs> uh, that I was allowed to do it. Uh, and yeah, I just, I, feel strongly Why against the NRA. Why you allowed to do it? I don't know. Because, I don't know. I, I, well, no, it's not that I, I wouldn't think that College Humor would let me do it, yeah. but it's more I'm thankful that I'm at a place like oh, College sh- Humor that would allow me sure. to do it because I could easily see that. So uh, I was being like, no. Yeah. yeah. This is, yeah. This is yeah. too political. You, why do you hate people being killed by guns? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or like they're, you know, we give money to these this organization sure. yeah. or we have, yeah, like oh, we sure. can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But yeah, I think I'd go with that one. All right. Um, I liked doing low maintenance girl mm. because I it was when I just started, so it was like when you get to pull out all the jokes you don't write for anyone else because you don't have a job doing it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I got to do like kind of weird. I got to like have like subtitles in it for when she's like talking stupidly, and I got to like do a fun visual gag of like a dog photo that was like infinite infinite t-shirt dog Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you all get it you know Mm -hmm, i mean mm -hmm. infinite t-shirt dog uh and it's fun character (laughs) to play um yeah yeah um yeah i don't know i like i've gotten this question before and every time i do i kind of draw a blank like Mm. i I feel like all my sketches have like blended together in Mm. in my brain at this point (laughs) i don't remember or whatever and look the weird thing is like some like for some years like we have a sketch that like 
uh, that like it did really well, and you're like, oh, like I was really happy with that. Um, and then it's if it's like topical, it immediately becomes like irrelevant. It's like I don't, I don't really like that sketch anymore. It doesn't uh-huh. make me sense. I, I do. I was, I guess I'll say like I was very happy with how tall is Grant. Yes, I was, that, I was, was going to bring that, that one up. Totally. Yeah, I was going to bring that up. I think it's like very just. It's like it was like fun to do visually. Like lots of like like silly little things that looked in it. People responded to it, and it was like so. Like I thought I would write this big. Like, this is a sketch just for me yeah because it's like a sketch about like framing like fr- shooting a sketch and framing things up it's like this is a very inside sketch and about how specifically tall one cast member is yeah. on it it's like this is the most inside baseball sketch yes. ever and the fact that anyone that that it, that that it did as well as it did was was shocking to me mm-hmm. um but yeah that was fun mm-hmm. you also did the ch the shining Oh yeah, I mean I love all those series. Yeah. Those are, I mean, like yeah, I guess that's a good point. All like the Purge stuff and the Shining yeah. stuff, yeah. and uh, Chomalone and yeah, uh, man, those yeah. are my favorite things. Yeah, they're fun because th- th- we get to feel like we're making a movie. Then, mm-hmm. like, like, yeah, the, yeah, they're get to just spend a little so, bit more time. They're so fun to shoot. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it's like really they're they're fun to write because it's just straight parody of like mm-hmm. it's like let's take a thing. It gives you so much to easily pull from. Of like mm-hmm. that's a that's a weird thing in this movie. Let's mm-hmm. talk about that for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um. Carl, we'll do our last question here from uh, Montessua, uh, <laughs> who asks, uh, where did you work immediately before College Humor? And I might expand this to just sort of, uh, oh, if, if, if it's not interesting where you worked immediately before, could just be like, <coughs> what's a job you had um, uh, before College Humor that, mm-hmm. you, that you think might be interesting to talk about? You were here well, for a long I was, time. Yeah, I've because I basically out of college, yeah. I was like an intern and then an assistant. So I've been at the company for a long time, but I've had like every other role besides being a cast member. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, and before that, I was just in college. Mm. Uh, immediately before here, I was at uh, Entertainment Tonight, specifically entertainmenttonight.com, the webs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Play it now. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's like live, your... folks. Entertainment tonight. Yeah. That's, like... <laughs> <laughs> That's like getting played off at an award show. Yeah. <laughs> you shut up, Rob. Okay. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> cool, cool. Very you interesting thing, Rayka. Where were you? What's going on with you in your life? <laughs> yeah, no, I was at uh, Entertainment Tonight, and I, I worked there in different capacities, similar to your situation here mm-hmm. for nine years, and then I came, and then I was. You guys saved me. Yeah. Uh, wait, don't wait. No. say that. We can't edit that out. <laughs> it's just oh out God. there now. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because you're insulting your old company. I yeah. see. The, why did you explain? It? Why did you go deeper? Oh, I see. Oh. I see. Because you, have, you deeply hate the company. And if, if you ever ask them for a reference, they shouldn't grant you. I see. I see. I see. Right. I see. I right. You've Great. shown me the twitters. Okay. Oh okay. God. <laughs> Great. What about you? Um. I was freelancing in New York a lot. So immediately, immediately, I was at MTV doing development for like five weeks. Um, So it's not like a really long job. Uh, But then, yeah, I was writing stuff for MTV News and Reductress and New Yorker and things like that. Um, Yeah, I was freelancing. I was an assistant. Uh, at a music company mm-hmm. that I will not name. Uh, uh, I'm but like you. Yeah, I'm like <laughs> you. Because I care about my career and my connections. <laughs> um, but um, but I had I like I've been I've been working like forever. Like I had a I had like a paper route when I was like ten. Well, like when when we that was when I was living in Korea and and it, I, was, I had a paper route and I also did like voice recording for. Um, for like learning English tapes. So somewhere out there in wow. Korea, there's there's like tapes of me saying very simple English phrases Aww. so people can learn how to speak English if they are also want to hear a small child's voice saying it. Um, <laughs> but uh, uh, when I was, like when we moved back to the States, I think when I turned, was it 14, 15? Uh, whatever it is that is the youngest age you're allowed to work a part-time job in California, my dad was like, congratulations, we're getting you, happy birthday, we're getting you a job. Wow. Uh, oh, and I've basically been working nonstop since then. Mm-hmm. Um, With yeah. those tapes, I like to believe that there's like 
an entire generation of people out there that you made talk like Elmer Fudd. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's a oh, boy. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't that young, but I was. I uh, one of the most like embarrassed I've ever been was uh, was in that in one of those taping sessions. Uh, because I was going through puberty at the time, and we were recording oh. my voice, and I had um, I had one session that I had to do. It was me and uh, two um, two teenage girls who are maybe like two years older than me, maybe. And um, one of the lines that I was delivering, my voice cracked like right in the middle oh, of it. Mm. So it was, it was like, oh, the guy, it is blue. <laughs> and uh, the 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 guy who was doing like the set, who was recording it. Just like flipped out, because uh, because like he was like he's like what what is this what 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 just happened here what did you do and he's like oh, well, listen to this and he like replayed it like wow four yeah. times wow like, like, the guy no. just blew like, did, how did I, he I like, not know what that was I I like I don't know if he thought like it was a technical thing or he thought like, oh. I was or if he thought like I was trying to like fuck with the recording because he thought like oh he's being like a no. shitty kid or something uh, or. Or if it was like, does anyone else hear that? Like, does it weird here? <laughs> That's I, so I was just, I was just teenage girls, come on in. Let me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, basically, it was just, just like, like me and these two like teenage girls just staring at me as I'm like, and like, Ugh. and like doing this. It's like you know they were they, they were good looking girls who were like right. doing entertainment yeah. stuff and like trying to get a career going. And so it's just like this like clam fat jam. American kid just like clam I don't jam. know. I'm sorry. <laughs> you got clam jam. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, did, it, did it, what was did anyone else have any like weird or unusual jobs or when 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 you were uh, Oh no. Uh, I guess <laughs> Oh, oh oops, what just oops, happened? Stop it. Don't oh, make fun of me. I um, just thinking to the, the people who can't see this just oops. hear like kissing noise. Yeah, I accidentally kissed the mic. Anyway, I um I I've also had a job for many years but i was i worked as a like marketing person at tailgating events, mm. which was very strange. What, what were you marketing? Would, like uh, different, just whatever I was told. It you was have come a, so <laughs> close. To I don't know. Wait, um, Katie, what do you mean? Um, I mean, like for the I listeners would, at home, I Katie's just gesticulating wildly <laughs> and almost hitting rap. Um, yeah, I would just like pass out T-shirts at like a UCLA oh, yeah. football game Got or something it. and deal with like drunk people. Yeah. Was it like related to the tailgate event? Yes. So it would be like like sports merchandise yes, or exactly. school merchandise or, or things right. like that. Got it. Got it. Mm. A lot of talking to strangers. Oh, and I was very bad at it. <laughs> Man, I had I had a job. <laughs> I had a job uh, selling promotional packages to hair salons. Uh, I have no hair. <laughs> <laughs> So, so people, people, no one bought anything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was a tough sell. I use it this. It's great. Sell. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not just a salesman. I'm a user. <laughs> Wham! Door slams in your face. <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty that was wild. Sad. That's like a knife, a knife salesman's got like cuts all over his <laughs> No joke. My fr my friend was selling uh, uh, was selling knives. Uh, uh, of a brand I won't say. Mm -hmm. uh, Entertainment but, Tonight. But, but, <laughs> uh, but I think we can all guess which one. It's like the yes, only yes. knife that yeah. people like uh, want sell to door sell, to sell door to door. Right. And um, uh, his first like, it's like, oh cool, I'm gonna go to the neighbor, I'm gonna do this first time demonstrate the knives. He cut himself hard enough that he had to go to the Super easy to use. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Look how sharp it is. Oh my god. Well, that's rad. <laughs> Uh, I uh, I worked as an assistant video editor for um, true crime television. So it was like all the murder shows that you see on like networks that I won't name. <laughs> <laughs> and I won't tell you what company I worked for. Entertainment Tonight. Uh, Entertainment Tonight. Uh, actually, Raf uh, got me the job there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he said, I hate it here, but yeah. you'll love it. Yeah. <laughs> said, and he gave me a list We're of the people who hated. Career. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I also worked at, in high school, no, college, I worked at a hot dog stand at the YMCA. Which is notable because you're a vegetarian. Yes, like a bald person selling. Uh, <laughs> We're writing an Alanis Morissette song. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so. At the YMCA, a hot dog stand? Yeah, it was like near the pool outside. Or snack. It was a snack stand. Snack that's what stand. You want before you snack dog swimming. sand. Snack stand. What? But Are you having a stroke? <laughs> What's happening? It was a snack stand, but we sold hot dogs. So I had to make those. This was in college. You had to make the hot dogs? Yeah. 
Uh, it was sorry, a grill film. <laughs> not like <laughs> not like <laughs> like a big old hot dog machine. Uh, <laughs> it was my summer job when I would come home from oh, college. Oh, got it. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. All right. Well, that is it for the questions, and that's it for our time. Yay. So thank you so much for joining us. Um, we're gonna keep making more of these. Um, if you have questions to ask us, you can ask on the Dropout Discord, and you can access that by subscribing to Dropout, where you can also see the video version of this podcast if you're not currently watching it right now. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I'm Mike Trapp. I'm Rekha Shankar. Raphael the Tang Chaste. Oh. <laughs> Katie Maravich. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye. 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 Hi, it's Mike Trapp from College Humor. Click here to subscribe, click here for more fun things, and send help to keep me from sinking. Please, please help, please help.